Hello everyone, this is the Brutal Brawl, and today I'm going to be talking about TF2 trade websites and scrap websites and scrap banking. So let's get to the beginning. Let's just go to a very basic website to access it. Just go into TF2, hold Shift and Tab, click like one of these, and then you get a little browser that opens, and you just put the first one is going to be scrap.tf, scrap.tf. And basically on this one you can sell items for pure scrap. As you can see here, you can um, uh, bank weapons, bank hats, bank keys, bank items, and this is all from a uh, part swap, which I might do. I'll do this as an example. My items with cash, and then you have Dota 2 down here. So let's just give an example. You click it. You want to click sell or buy parts. I'm going to sell parts. You'll be added to the queue. You want to press add friend. And then you'll get a friend request. I think I have some MVM parts. And then I'll put just that up here. And that should work. Oh. It doesn't look like they buy pumps. Um, well, let's just do that with a. I'll do it with a hat. I have a hat that I want to get rid of, and no one wants to buy the Mongolian. The Magnificent Mongolian. So let's just go to Banking, Hats. So I should get added to a queue, as you can see here. Oh, that's going to take too long. How about we just do a weapon? Uh, they buy they sell they buy regular hats for 1.22. They buy genuines for 1.11. They sell regular hats for 1.33. So there's a bit of profit they make. Let's go to Scrap Weapons. Oh, you have to wait 30 seconds after every queue, so yes. Here you can buy weapons if you click on one of these bots down here. Here are the active bounties. 3 seconds, 3, 2, 1. That's a long queue. Hopefully you get the idea. All you have to do is click banking, and then you'll be added to a queue. Then you put the items up that you're selling, and he'll offer you some metal. Do it for the specific thing. They don't buy a bar. Strange parts, which I made the mistake of, I bought loads of cheap, and now I can't seem to sell them. You can also get priority to get put up in the queue. I think I have some free priority actually, um, because of something that happened. Here you can enter the chat room. Right, let's leave that one. Let's go to the next scrap banking metal website, TF2Vendor.com. I usually use this one for my items I want to get rid of, but perhaps I just use scrap.tf. So you can browse, you can buy items for five percent off. You can put max refine price. So let's see. That's that. And let's, in the meantime, let's go to a different website called Backpack.tf, which is a gives you a basic idea of how much things are costing right now. Pretty much a spreadsheet. You can see all the current prices as well. Let's see. It was the festive, festive force. So a strange one is worth two keys, so about 14 ref. This one's they're selling it for 13.33. So you could make some profit there. They're also selling everything for five percent off, so you can make a bit of profit there if you manage to sell it to someone for the full price. Festive knife, let's just look at festive knife. One point five keys, so that's about 10.5 and they're selling it for 10 so you can make like a 5 scrap profit off of that pretty nice you can buy items you can sell items for 25% off which is why I usually use if there are items that you can't sell like strange parts or strangers festives then you should use this website if you can't actually get anyone to buy them next one is TF2 Outpost TF2 Outpost.com I bet you've all heard of this one dot com Oh, that's, a, that's the wrong website. TF2outpost.com. Here you can put up new trades. Say if I click new, I can request a trade, or you can search for things. Let's just say I want to sell. I want, let's just say, a bull's hat. Bull's hat. Then I can search, and then you can see the prices that people are selling for. A lot of people will highball on this, so it's not the best. 
white wheels out for eight keys, that's actually quite reasonable. I don't think they actually sell regular wheels, that's no one seems to be selling them anymore. Only whites and coloured. Six keys plus two ref. I'm not going to find trouble. So you can add them if you press the little mile, uh, let's just use this as an example. If you press the plus button, it will add them on Steam. And you just message them when they come online so you can sell or buy to them. And that's pretty straightforward. Create new trades. Here's what you're given, here's what you want. So let's go to the last one, bizarre.tf. Here's a Dota 2 one as well, similar to the outpost. Here it's pretty much the same as a Ma. Outpost I don't usually use uh bizarre actually let's see if anyone here is buying a copy of Half Life Two. Steam Search. Yeah, no one usually buys games. I'm keeping that for the giveaway anyway. But it's pretty much the exact same as Outpost. If you want to buy items for money, then you use websites such as tf2shop.com, I think. Um, I can't remember the website. Shop.com. Here we go. Tft shop on the net, sorry. You can buy items for dollar you can buy items for real money, so let's just see buds for forty three dollars. Five for thirty five cents, keys for two twenty five. Pretty straightforward. So that's if you want to do that, that's awesome. Awesome. But I would recommend them buying them from the Steam Market or the Steam Manco store. But that is pretty much every TF2 website you need to know about. Uh, let me just go into more. Well, on backpack.tf, you can um, check the values of backpacks. You can look for item values and all that good stuff. The, but the best way, really, is just searching for people. You'll eventually find some. So there's also bots that you can get. But anyway, guys, I will be ending off the video here. Hope it helped you. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye.